Yo, 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 yo. Good morning, good morning. This is your boy Carl Anthony. Um, Black Coffee Daily. And guess what? I don't have my icon in the, in the video, but I do have my black coffee. With a little cream in it. But, um, you know, we're going to get into this to this stream really quick. And it's going to be a quick, you know, show today. Not much going on. But we got to talk about some things. Um, my goal is to always show up on a daily basis, no matter what. So... I didn't want to make any excuses and not give you guys some form of content and some form of consistency consistency with myself because you know if you're rocking with me you're rocking with me and um i want you to know i'm showing up on a daily basis so you can come back <laughs> so before we get into it hit the like button all right subscribe if you didn't subscribe and um yeah carl anthony is here black coffee daily so um let's get right into the into the to the to the thick of things. Howard Stern uh is going at Joe Rogan and over uh the the information that Joe Rogan is is I guess spreading about his um COVID treatment and you know the the lack of getting vaccinated and things like that and Basically, Howard Stern is saying we don't want him. You know, we don't we don't care for Joe Rogan. We don't want him here. So um, they have, you know, like this, like I guess, underlying few. But what I really think it's about is the fact that Joe Rogan is kind of uh, cutting into the star power of Howard Stern. Howard Stern has been in the game for a long time. He's he's you know, like the OG of this podcast and radio stuff. And now Joe Rogan is like the man. You know, he's the number one guy, in my opinion. Um, and if you think about it, you know, that could be, you know, uh, uh, that could be a real, you know, trying thing for someone who's who's used to being number one. And so, I think it has a little little bit to do with that. And and who knows? I don't know. I don't think they really have too many personal connections. And you know, so my summation is that Howard Stern just ain't feeling Joe Rogan and just wants people to not rock with him as much. You know, it takes away from what he's doing. Yeah. But look, I guess it's good for conversation. It's good for the 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 uh, podcast radio sphere to get these two guys, I guess, going head to head in a sense. Maybe they should have some kind of a uh, podcasting versus. Let's see who wins. You know, uh, Joe Rogan has a a really robust fan base right now. Um, he's he's the number one guy. It just is what it is. So, hopefully this doesn't go too far. Hopefully, hopefully it's no real smoke behind it. I'm sure it isn't. But salute to to both of those guys who are really putting on in that space, in this space, and um. Maybe one day I'll be big as that, even as a black guy, you know. Um, it's just time to put the work in and just, you know, show and prove, really. That's, that's, that's what it's basically about. Um, moving right along, uh, we got the Whitney Houston biopic. It's called um, I Want to Dance with Somebody. And it's going to be starring Naomi Aki. She's a British actress, and she's been in, I think she was in The Queen's Gambit, and she's been in a lot of other, you know, TV shows and films, and she's going to play Whitney Houston, but then they casted Ashton Sanders from uh, Moonlight and from Native Son, or, or Native Boy, Native Son, he's going to be cast as young Bobby Brown, the love interest ex-husband of Whitney Houston the late great Whitney hold on let's see if we're back uh, we, we connected we connected okay cool all right hope you guys with me man um, Ashton Sanders really great actor you know uh, he's in the Wu-Tang saga he's also in the um, like I said he was in Moonlight 
he was in a movie with Denzel in um, I think Equalizer 2. Very good actor. I'm I just don't know if I can see him playing Bobby Brown. You know, he's he's pretty small in my summation. I think he's a small guy. I just don't see him I mean he can pull off probably from a look standpoint, he could probably pull it off because he's dark and you know slim. But let's see how he does with this, man. I, I think it'll be a good challenge for him and see if he can dance a little bit. You know, you got to be able to dance if you're Bobby Brown. You know, Bobby Brown is like the real, he really the first R&B thug, real true star, was one of my favorites as a kid growing up. So we'll see how that goes, man. But I hope the movie does well and um, better than that Lifetime movie that, that they had for her. Um, and it comes out in December of 2022, so next year. So um, I don't know if they began filming yet, but I do know they're about to get started, if not. And so, you know, we'll see how that pans out. See what kind, what kind of stuff they get into. They're going to also have someone playing uh, Robin, which is um, Whitney Houston's uh, best friend, longtime friend, and, and, you know, potential, you know, love interest. So I don't know if they're going to explore that, that, that lane or not. Um, but we're going to see. Taking a sip. Shout out to Bulletproof Coffee. That's what I'm drinking. I got Bulletproof Coffee with my uh, MCT oil. You know, keep my brain on point. You know what I'm saying? But, sad news. Um, a legend. A legend has passed. Melvin Van Peebles. Melvin Van Peebles. He's a... Um, uh, director, actor, writer. Uh, he is the father of Mario Van Peebles, who was the cop in New Jack City. And um, Melvin is known for one of the pioneers in, in the black sport exploitation, you know, uh, era of filmmaking. He uh, he had his first his first big feature film, Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song. In, uh, it debuted in 1971. It's a classic, you know. I've seen bits and pieces of it, bits and pieces of it, you know, as a kid. But I do need to go watch it. I want to go watch it because it's just one of those classic black films that you know you just need to get up on. So, um, but he was a you know very respected, you know, figure in 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 black art and black filmmaking, and you know. I think he even had a, a, a recent movie role in 2018, so he was still active. You know, he was 89 when he passed, lived a long life, had a, had a stellar career, and you know, it's just you know, hey, condolences out to the to the Van Peebles family. Um, you know, I just you know want to show some honor to a to a legend, and so um, look. Today, you know, I'll be streaming again, probably from uh, the gym, doing my workouts. So if you saw my workout yesterday, I was doing heavy bench press. It kind of tweaked my shoulder. <sighs> probably going too heavy, you know, probably going to scale back and just live lighter just to get the, get the pump going. And, um, you know, so I'll be back tomorrow with a, with a more robust show, I promise promise a more robust show for tomorrow i'm not gonna shortchange you guys but i wanted to get to talk to you guys and you know hopefully you know keep building this community you know shout out to anybody who's watching and hit the like button don't forget i'll be back tomorrow black coffee daily you will see the icon tomorrow and um it's your boy carl anthony let's get it going peace